All right, we're gonna now have a look at how to update other tables. In the case of an invoice, where you have products in the invoice, there might be a case where you want to remove a product out of stock once it's been sold so that you can keep a, a running stock take on it. So we need to do two things. We need to add a field to the invoice itself so that we can tell once something has been posted, therefore every time it gets saved, it won't try to update the stock in the product table. In the second part, in the second video from this video, we will look at how to display buttons on the screen using that field. All right, so now we'll just go and add a stock field to the product table so it can keep a running count actually in the product table. So now, now that we've done this in the database, we really need to reload New Builder. That's what I've done there, just so that uh, New Builder is aware of the new fields that have been added to the database. All right, so now we will go and create this posted field. It's going to be a hidden one because we don't need to see it. New Builder just needs to know it's there and what to do with the answer. So we're going to change this from an auto number because I just cloned the auto number for the invoice. Set it to text. And you'll see now as we go into arrange objects, you can see that it's there. It could be moved around, but you can't actually see it on the screen. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is we'll go back into this invoice and we'll go and update these other tables, this other table, the product table. Alright, so this is a bit of code I created earlier. No one wants to see me spend half an hour typing. All right, so we'll run through it. I'll make the screen a little bit bigger. So first of all, we're going to actually look at the invoice ID that we're on and see if it's posted. And we're gonna match that against the hash cookie called record ID, which is the record ID of the invoice that we're on at the moment. So we'll run, do a run query, which will take the SQL and also take the ID as a parameter, as an array parameter. And if it hasn't been posted, then what we'll do is we'll go and find all the items that belong to this invoice. We'll run this query again, and using the result, we'll loop through each of the products that are in that data set and update them as we go. Joe, now just to show you how this works and make sure that we're expect, getting what we expect. This is the current table uh, and I think we're going to add a large pineapple pizza. It says there are none in stock at the moment so we'll go and add a new one. Up the top here. All right, and we'll go and save that. We'll put 44 in there. So if we go back to the table now and refresh this, you see the record up the top we have minus 44. So we can see that it's working. So that's how that works.